Today, I am going to shock, awe, and amaze you with some mystery tech. Okay, I was expecting that to come my way because Today we're going to look at the RCA 15 SE series LED TV. The slogan is made for today. I don't think a 15 inch LED TV is made for today. If it's made for today, I want to go to tomorrow. You're really showing your privilege on this one here. It's a clear TV. Why does this exist? Oh, the remote's transparent too. Why is the remote transparent? So you can have a harder time finding it in your couch. We've done lots of videos on TVs, but I don't think I've ever actually looked at one that was so transparent where you can really see how empty this is. And like, how terrible their cable management is. I mean, normally you can't see, right? Is there a practical benefit to a clear TV? So this is actually made for the US prison system. Inmates are allowed to buy a TV through the commissary and it has to be clear so that way you, they can't smuggle any contraband in the electronics. You could buy it on Amazon right now, just fine. But this this model specifically is sold in the US, in US prisons. I don't know what to do with this piece of information. Is it cool? Is it not cool? Is, is it an interesting use of technology? Is it icky and disgusting and terrible? They like to commit tax fraud, so. Commit tax fraud, it's a felony, do 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 I just truly forgot just how tiny 15 inches is. When you forgot what 15 inches looks like, what what what, what are you accustomed to these days? I'm accustomed to something much girthier. Girthier? Uh, something something you mean a lot, wider? A lot a lot Taller? wide a lot wider than it is tall. Like an um, <laughs> yes. I love that the uh, product page for this says, the unique transparent body means it seamlessly fits with your current decor. Hmm, <laughs> boy, what a great display to put with your brick walls and your iron bars. Yikes. I'm making a lot of jokes about something not very funny today. I'm not gonna lie, this actually is not terrible for a prison TV. I thought they would still be on CRTs. And you actually, it's kind of cool about this. If you flip it over, you can actually see the backlight. You see how, that, that's actually lit. How much does this cost, Matt? It costs about $120. You could get a larger TV for this price, smart and whatnot, but what you can't get is style. And this is the height of style, elegance, and translucency. It's a clear value. Ferro liquid speaker from Dr. Orange? The doc? Oh, I think I know what this thing is. So ferro fluid is iron-based fluid that will react to magnetic pulses and look super dope. This is like Splatoon for colorblind people. <laughs> All right, let's cut the seal. I'm curious, because this could be neat, or it could be really dumb, as with all <laughs> items on Mystery Tech. I would vote the latter. <laughs> So oh, that's in a, it's in a box. So it's gonna be a very expensive set piece. This looks like something that would show up in Drake and Josh. <laughs> it's square. <laughs> <actually. laughs> I'll say you got a little blob of ferro fluid in there, which I've just kind of shake it up a little bit. You see, he's just kind of. Are the socks done yet? <laughs> I will say it though, looks it looks like an eye. I don't like it. So what does the fluid do exactly? It when... goes ba bum. Ba bum. Ba -bum. Also, I don't know what. Does anyone know what this thing does? Oh, it's a pacifier. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> so it does say you can use Bluetooth, which I think is the only way you can do it. Oh, 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 this is a handheld magnet. What? Oh, to there move you the go. fluid. You can move the fluid around. All right, let's fire this up, shall we? Start switch is number eight, which is on the back. Okay, I'm gonna press the button now. Oh, no. oh that's oh, sick. No, it's even more IE. I like no. Oh, I don't like that. <laughs> That. No. no! Okay, all right, all right, all right. Why is it looking at me? Oh! <laughs> Yo! Oh, this is some nightmare shit. I like this so much. The time is March 2020. The virus is spreading <laughs> and it is vibing in your body. <laughs> then you can slow it down if you want. Yeah, so you can just kind of adjust to see how active you want it to be. I will say though, this speaker does not sound good at all. Wait a minute, it's broken. What? I literally see the speaker. It's like, it's like literally just sitting down on the bottom. There are definitely like pegs for it to like mount to something. Yeah. But there is nothing to like, hold on. I mean, let's investigate. I feel like this is actually broken. 
Look, they're just, they're dangling. So I, I'm telling you, that's where the speaker should be, and it's just dangling yeah, on the you're inside. Not, you're not wrong. So what we can do is not judge this based on its audio quality, which is mediocre at best, but in fact on its spooky fluid action. I still don't think it's worth $500 or 350 bucks though. Like if this is like 80 bucks, it's kind of like a cool piece to go. But like, I mean, to be fair, this does look like it should be like a prop. That's the whole point of it. It's an aesthetic piece. It's, you're not buying this for the practicality. Like we can leave this on the back of the set and have it just like slowly bouncing and actually would look really cool. This video was sponsored by stamps.com. If you're in a small business, January means a lot of things. Catching up on email, dealing with returns, and the inevitable increase in postage costs. That's why stamps.com has your back. With 20 years of experience, they have a partnership with both the US Postal Service and UPS to get you incredible discounts, like up to 86% off USPS and UPS rates. Stamps.com automatically tells you what the fastest and cheapest shipping options are, all from the comfort of your home or office. Whether you've got a side hustle online shop or doing full on warehouse shipping, all you need is your computer and printer. They'll even send you a free scale to make it easy to schedule a pickup through the Stamps.com dashboard. And if you sell online, Stamps.com seamlessly connects with every major marketplace. Start the new year right by saving serious money on mailing and shipping. Get started with Stamps.com today. Sign up at Stamps.com slash Austin Evans for a special offer that includes a four week trial, plus free postage and a digital scale. No long term commitments. Again, that is Stamps.com slash Austin Evans and huge thank you to Stamps.com for sponsoring this video. That's heavy. Oh, what is I know what that one is. Alternate tech life? What's the alternate tech life? What, have I been living the pleb tech life? Metaverse. If this is the metaverse, I'm gonna personally complain to the Zuck. I'm opening the box now. Okay, wow, that's... You're gonna need a very specific tool to get into this box. Oh no, is this one of those like promo boxes where you have to like unlock it or something? Yeah. I feel like I could just pop this off. No! But there is a pull tab right here. So I'm just gonna rip no, it. No, no, no! What, it, what am I supposed to do? I don't know if that, wait. I, I think, think you are supposed to do, yeah. do, do the pull tab. tab. <laughs> okay. do, do the pull okay. tab. <laughs> I have now opened said box and it is open now to reveal that it didn't open. It's a Lego piece. Oh, no. it is open. No! No! Oh, that ruins the whole thing. Wait, oh look, it's closed and you turn it? Oh wait. Oh, I have to unlock it. You did it, thank you, thank you. So do I need to use MagSafe to unlock it? Okay. It's really MagSafe? Look at that. Yep. It's, <laughs> it's, it's locked with MagSafe. That is so stupid. Oh, oh, I get it now. Oh, okay. He's finally I'm, understanding I finally it. understand. <laughs> so I've got a MagSafe battery bank. Oh, there's a case for, is this for 13? Oh, we've had, we, we ordered this a while ago. So are you trying to say this is for a phone that is out of date now? Uh, MagSafe is timeless. <laughs> this don't fit. <laughs> Lovely. What, what do you notice about your phone and that dock right there? Oh my God. Is oh, this? No. <laughs> what do you ever do? So the idea is that you can, it. yeah, you don't even need the case. You just, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah, see? Is it as fun? Ask. Priority mail. Is this like an unreleased Intel CPU or AMD CPU? Is it DDR6? Yeaster LLC? That's oh. all the hints you need. Friend of the channel, Mr. Yeaster, my arch nemesis at Micro Center and my compatriot when it comes to testing TikTok tech hacks has recently launched an exciting new business venture. Yeaster Paste, yes. This is an actual real product that you can actually check out. It's a link in the description. He said a lot of Easter paste. This is, this is. Have you seen the way he puts on thermal paste? This is the last you have a build. So we've got ourselves the Easter paste, which has 12.8 watts per millikelvin, and it's 3.5 grams. Oh, it's so cute. Look, it's a little smiley guy to hold your thermal paste on the side of your system. He's just a happy little guy. He wants to hold your thermal paste. So this actually is pretty cool. So essentially it comes with this practice tool where you could say, draw your little pattern, and then you take this, you push it over the top, and you can see just how well it actually spreads out. I'm gonna just try to gently do this. I'm gonna do one. There you go. So watch and behold how amazing this is gonna look when I squish it. Everybody ready? Three, two, one, and Squish activate. Well, that's. Wow, it works so <laughs> I just gotta push it down a little bit more. Like you built a PC before. Weird, huh? Check out Easter Paste at the link in the description. You can learn more about how to be better at thermal paste. I'm gonna take some tips from the thermal paste man himself. 
Hasbro selfie series. Oh. It started with a selfie. Now, when you look inside this box, you'll find a customized one-of-a-kind action figure of yourself. Not too long ago, Aaron, our fine editor over on This Is, just put a phone in my hand and said, hey, can you just like take some pictures here? And I was using some app that was like scanning my face. And because it's This Is, I always assumed that there's gonna be some wacky shenanigans. Well, I'll say it's not like sealed. Wait, does it? Wait, I accidentally peeked it a little bit. It's a, a Ghostbusters thing. Am I a Ghostbuster? Royalty free. The reveal is. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that high quality face. Definitely looks just like me. Okay, so there is some real weight and heft behind that one. Where's it from? Is this what you call tape? We've got here, here. Oh, oh, there's a bunch of stuff in here. So we've got ourselves. The Focal Bathies. That sounds Ayo? like that With sounds Bathies? like a Game of Thrones character. On top of that, they also sent over. Oh, these are the open back reference headphones, the Clears. So these are traditional like reference headphones, which I'm gonna take a look at in a second. The Bathies though are, I mean, these are very high end looking Bluetooth headphones. Oh, look at that, my favorite things: noise canceling headphones with hi-fi sound and French design. French design. Hey, hey, oui, oui. <laughs> the thing with Focal. Generally speaking, they make a wide variety of headphones and speakers and stuff. Is that this is very high end, right? So we're not talking your Ford Focus. Oh no, we're talking about your McLaren F1 of headphones. All right, let's unveil. Woo! Aluminium. Those are actually surprisingly light. So something interesting about these is that while they seem like they've got an open back, they're actually not, which makes sense because these do have active noise cancellation. So traditionally, when you get to very high-end headphones, they'll have what's known as an open back design, which will help with things like soundstage, but at the expense of everyone else in the room hearing exactly what you're listening to. And in the case of Mr. Kimbolito, sometimes that's a little bit embarrassing if he had any shame to, to give. No shame. Look at the app. The app looks very fancy. Hello, welcome, rich person, to your brand new headphones. Yeah, I feel like I owe someone money after this app. I'm 1% down with firmware, so I'll be right back. Actually, here, Kim, sh show me these. I need gloves to wear these. You know that you bought something really high-end and fancy when there's no plastic wrap anywhere. Like, you pull it out of the box, and it is perfect and ready to go. So, when you're saying open back, mm -hmm. that is wild. They're also so lightweight. So, these are aluminum and magnesium. Wow. I love the shine on that. So I always listen on Spotify because Spotify is uh, the best. The problem though is that Spotify does not support hi-fi. And honestly, look, I feel like most of the time you can't tell the difference. For me, I can't tell the difference beyond going from like a 320 kilobit MP3 to like flax and stuff. I know some people can hear the difference. For me, it's, I'm not quite that sophisticated of an ear. Okay, we're, we're listening to Apple Music on an Android device. I think I need to call Johnny Ive and report you to the police. No, the only person- He doesn't person... work there anymore. Good point. He didn't, he didn't give a shit. He don't give a <laughs> shit. Yeah. So what we'll do is this. I will use the hi-fi Apple Music to listen to the crazy high-end headphones. And then for the Bluetooth headphones, I will just use Spotify because that's the way that a normal person should listen to music. He's making a face. He's experiencing <laughs> oral bliss. Oral. Uh, holy fuck. <laughs> okay, come over here for a second. Play it for 30 seconds, wait for the drop. I Ooh. may have pooped my pants. <laughs> <laughs> the bass is nice. Dude, that, that drop was wild. I was not expecting that. The fact that they can do that with these is kind of impressive, because there's a wide soundstage even with these being closed back. Matt is an experienced audio engineer who will be impressed by nothing. Not even the most bliss of oral bliss. I will say it's a little bassy for me personally, but it's still really crisp. These are the best sounding Bluetooth headphones I've ever heard. Full stop, no anything. And that's not even plugging them in via USB and getting the true audio experience. Am I gonna honestly tell you to go and spend $800 on Bluetooth headphones? Of course not. These sound better than AirPods Max, but what they do not do is they don't give you quite that same like transparency mode and the noise canceling of the AirPods Max. Like these are definitely meant more for an audiophile. We've listened to the Bathies, the Bluetooth options. Now let's listen to the big boys. Wow. It's like I have, have literally nothing on. Like there is no difference. It's like wearing nothing at all. If you ever get into trouble, all you need to do is. Feels like I'm wearing nothing at all. 
Nothing at all. Nothing at all. And we can hear it too. <laughs> the clarity is wild. That's immediately what I hear. I hear just everything. I'm hearing new colors right now. There's like a, like a buzz on the back of the instrument. I've never heard that. I'm not gonna lie though, as much as those sound amazing, this is the move. To me, I don't have time to sit down and appreciate music and to blast the whole room with what I'm hearing. Shout out headphones.com. If you want to send us some more headphones for Mystery Tech, I'd be happy to thoroughly evaluate. Yes, yeah, send us. No, no, no. Send us headphones. Don't do that.